Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to take this electric pencil sharpener and tear it apart piece by piece. So in true dialed in fashion, I'm going to grab a screwdriver and start taking this thing apart one screw at a time and show you what's on the inside. We'll see what makes it grind the gears, or at least a pencil, and then figure out how many different kinds of switches this thing has on the inside. Because uh, there might be more than you think. In one of these typical what's inside videos, I usually have one of three purposes behind it. Either I'm going to repair it, repurpose parts, or completely salvage it for another project. In full disclosure, today's is all about the salvage, but I will mention the repair options as we go along too. Since we have this thing disconnected from all power, I don't have a whole lot of warnings for you here, except to be aware of all of the graphite dust. I say that especially in case you want to use compressed air like you'd use to clean your computer because it's going to go everywhere. So make sure to be wearing a dust mask if you're going to do that. And also be aware, you're going to get dirty because this stuff does make a mess and sticks to everything. So, repair hint number one. As you can see, there are a lot of wires here, so when you're working with electronics, one of the first things you might want to think about when something isn't working right is whether or not all the wires are connected where they need to be and whether or not there might be a short. Since there's also a lot of switches, you might want to make sure that all the switches are making appropriate contact to allow for complete flow of electricity. Okay, so maybe I wasn't entirely truthful when it came to the total number of warnings that I was going to provide because you just removed some blades from this thing and blades can be sharp, which means they can cut, so please be careful. So if you're having a problem with a pencil sharpener like this and you weren't sure what was going on, as you can see with all the debris that's come out of this, one of the first things you might want to check is to make sure that there isn't any extra junk that's clogging up gears or even the cutting blades because that's the typical problem that goes wrong with these things. So, as I'm finishing up here, you can see I cut a couple wires loose to get one last switch out of there and remove all the plastic parts. What you see on this particular tray in front of you is all of the parts removed from the case and the case too. So, what am I going to keep? Number one for me are electronics. We've got a great DC motor that I can use for a lot of things, plus switches which are all momentary switches, which means basically it's in on or off when you push and let go. It's not going to stay on. But in addition to that, we have a power supply and some gears and an axle that I can use in another project as well. Thank you for taking the time today to stop by Dialed in DIY to watch me grind through this pencil sharpener. If you enjoyed it or were at least entertained a little bit, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up. Also, I'd love it if you'd subscribe while you're here and make sure to go ahead and click that bell so you get notifications on my future videos. Feel free to share your comments below or ideas for using any of these parts. And as always, I'd love it if you'd come back because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.